to Lunam Ignis Brew. Today we are doing a classic. We're gonna do a vice beer. Um, so hopefully we're gonna have some nice banana, bubble gum notes, nice and hazy. It's a nice and simple grain build today. It's 54% um, wheat and 46% hills nut. Um, but yeah, I can't wait. So the water is added and I'm going to press heat um, and we're heating to 65 degrees. So while that's heating I will weigh out my grain. Um, as I said before it's just 54% wheat and 46% hills nah. Um, so the water's heating up, so now we're going to add the grains in there. We stuff her in. Gonna give that a quick mix around. Shoes all in the line, bouncy, bouncy. Everybody somersault, somersault, summertime. Everybody sing along. Oh, bouncy, bouncy. Oh, such a good time. Bouncy, bouncy. Hot socks slipping down. Bouncy, bouncy. It's a no, no. Bouncy, bouncy. Bouncy, bouncy. Right. I think that is all nice in there. Bum, ba dum, bum, bum, bum. I could take a bath in that. I could just be like a little wheat, like, oh. <laughs> like a nice little wheat bath, and I'll just be in there like, oh yes, the wheat bath. And I'll be with all my little wheat friends, and the Pilsner friends are there too. Stop getting distracted. Um, right, just need to add the perforated plate. We all know that we need to wet the rim, otherwise it won't go in. Remove the grain stopper. The perforated plate, if it's not being a little bitch. So just sitting nicely on top of the grains there. Bang, bang. This little, little genius device. Um, that's the overflow outlet. Push that on. Clicks in place there like that. Pop the lid on. Ah, oh, where's the recirculation hose? Put that on there like so. We love the recirculation hose. That just sits nicely in there. Oh, left. No, right. Okay, that's all connected. Press set to start the mash. Oh, and it would help if I flip that down as well. Beautiful. Um, we've got a little bit of a stuck mash, but is to be expected with wheat. Wheat can be a little nuisance. Um, and also, I didn't get, I forgot to get rice hulls, so my own fault. But it's got half an hour left of mash, and then we'll sparge, which is probably gonna take ages. Boohoo! <laughs> Got six 
Um, so my shower is just finished. Um, I'm going to remove the recirculation hose um, and lift up the green basket. So that's going to take a little bit of time to drain off just because of a bit of stuck mash, but what can you do? Oh, that literally took so long. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much finished draining off now. Finally, we are ready to start the sparge. And sparge. We're doing 17.5 litres for sparge. <sighs> so long. Wow. That looks interesting. <laughs> but it's just all the protein globs. Protein globules. Globs. I'm just gonna weigh out my hops now. So I'm doing 29 grams of Halatau Hurst Booker and 13.9 grams of Sats. I probably pronounced both of those wrong, so please don't judge me on that. I tried my best, okay. Got my sanitizer bag. I feel like the, this bag size is so unnecessary. There's only 50 grams in each bag and they're like huge, but... Mm. And this is the sacks. So, that's that. Um, this is just going in at 60 minutes, so... Yeah, I'm just gonna pop that in now. Lovely boil, boil my pretty. Wow, look at it go. So the boil has finished now, so I'm just going to um, attach my cooling system. So tangled. Oh wait, shit, I don't remember that. <laughs> Just so it sanitizes the hole. Assemble. Yeah. Make sure that that is in the sink because I forgot to do that one time and all the um, output water was just spraying everywhere. So that has finally cooled down after what felt like absolutely ages. So I'm just going to transfer it into my FB, um, all sanitized and everything. Got it here. Um, so I'm just gonna do it at slow speed. I'm from a height. Just get a little bit of aeration in there. Aeration. Press the pump. <gasps> it's such a pretty color. This is a big boy. <laughs> Uh, so that's all transferred into there. Um, I've just taken a gravity reading. Um, my original gravity was meant to be like 1051, um, but it's 1060, so <laughs> stronger than we thought. Also a bigger batch than I thought, quite full to the top, We've got like 24 liters, but who's complaining? Uh, it'll just have to be a Weizenbock. Oh well, who cares? So um, I've got the Mangrove Jacks Bavarian Wheat Yeast. Um, you can rehydrate it, um, but it says like the best way um, to do it is to just sprinkle over the top. So I will do that. Sanitize. There she is, Mwah. And I've got my airlock bubbler full of sanitized water. And she's ready to go and ferment now. Sleep well, baby. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. 
so today we are going to be bottling the vice beer so it's pretty mental because um my start gravity for the vice beer was 1060 i mean it was meant to be 1051 but anyway um it was 1060 and then literally within two three days of fermentation it dropped right down to 1016 um, and it's done fermenting after three days which is pretty crazy don't really know what happened but it's tasting fine it smells fine looks fine so ready to get bottling today and with my previous brews, I've been um, collecting bottles from work and washing the labels off and stuff. Um, but obviously my work's not been open. I haven't been able to go anywhere to collect any. Um, and believe it or not, um, I didn't single-handedly drink enough bottles since my last bottling. I didn't drink enough to save and keep and have enough for this brew. So I had to order a load in bulk. But that means I don't have to wash the labels off I just need to sanitize them which just saved me a massive job but I quite kind of liked um I kind of like reusing the bottles just because more eco-friendly right mm, look at them let's get sanitizing so long Do the sugar. Oh, I'm such an idiot. Okay, I'll put this in and then I'll do the sugar. Looks kind of great. So we've got about 21, 22 liters. Mmm, gross. I'm gonna leave that there and make the sugar because I'm a fucking idiot and I forgot. So I'm using Dextro's again, corn sugar. I need um, 289 grams. Ah! Oh, I'm so annoyed I didn't do this off first. Because now I've got to wait for it to cool down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello. I don't have like another big bowl, so a pan will have to do. Oh, I know. While that's cooling down, I could try my stout because it's been um, a week since I bottled it. Um, so I could just give it a taste. Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's just 10, 12 o'clock. Sweet. Let's go try that. Got it here. Um, so. Why? Why does it get windy as soon as I come outside? So it's been in um, conditioning for a week now. So might be good, might not be carbonated, but we'll see. Oh, so we've got carbonation on there. Obviously it's a stout, so we haven't got a great deal of carbonation. Okay, a little bit of carbonation on there. Um, I doubt the head retention will be that amazing. Oh, so the oak is definitely coming through. And the bourbon as well, like the sweetness from the bourbon. Oh, very slight amount of carbonation on there. Um, I develop a little bit more um, if I leave it. Bro. Is this wind? But yeah, oh, very bourbon forward. Really, really nice though. Like, I'm really pleased with how much the oak has come through. It's got quite a long finish to it as well. Um, I tell you, it's like medium bodied. Oh my god! I thought we could do a nice beer tasting outside in the sun, but apparently not. Um, primary sugar's finally cooled down. 
Also with this, I need to work out what percentage this is because I haven't even finished the bottle and you girls are already feeling it. It's like still morning. Mm. Ah. <laughs> Sweet, so got my bottle cap. Um, and I've just attached some tubing on the end. Um, shout out to Dino for giving me a better tip for bottling. Thank you for that. So I've got all my bottles in the crate down here so I can just do them a bit quicker. So I'm going to let that condition the bottle for a couple of weeks and... 